So good morning from Hatston, and uh, here's our first demo EV as part of the Reflex project. So let's have a quick look around it. So it's the Renault Zoe. Uh, this is one with a 52 kilowatt hour battery, uh, five year warranty on the car, but this is going to be one of our demo cars here on Orkney. So um, yeah, it's had a slightly revised front over the, it's, it's the first real refresh on the Zoe bodywork wise. Uh, compared to the original Zoe from what? Ooh, 2013. So, um, lots of interior trim changes. Let's just take the cover off. It's just come off the uh, off the ferry. So, um, it's uh, quite a nice place to be. And uh, we have the normal key cards as a key. Basically, it's uh, foot on the brake, press the power button. Oh, there we go. Nice big tablet, and in the middle, which is a uh, infotainment system, basically. I've no idea what to press. <laughs> so let's just have a look at the range. It's saying, oh, where are we? 186 mile range and we're not quite full and it's only got 11 miles on the clock so this will actually change as this car gets used um, so we've got electronic handbrake but a modern a lot of modern vehicles have got uh, almost like a toggle switch there we've got reverse i'm guessing there's a rear camera yes so pull it down brake in oh and again D for drive, foot off the brake and squeeze the throttle, there we go. So let's see how we get on with a brief drive. So let's go for a drive. Uh, so we're in D for drive. Nice chunky steering wheel. Uh, drives like the other Zoe's, but I must say the the uh, display in front of you is a massive improvement on the old Zoe. So bear in mind it's only done 11 miles this car, but by the time I've uh, given it a run round we shall get a more accurate reading on the, the guessometer. So the guessometer is the estimated range you've got with how much electricity you've got in the battery. So it's showing 94% with 181 miles on the gasometer. So with a full charge, I'm expecting around 200 mile range out of this Renault Zoe. Um, so yeah, we've got an indicator there to show that we're regening, we're charging. And this toggled gear selector can flick between D for, D for drive and B for extra engine brake or extra regen. So yeah, there we go. EV demo number one. So one of the things I do like is this uh, gear selector. So we've got no P for park, but you basically toggle it back for B and then you pull it back again for D. There we go. And that will also come up on the dashboard showing what gear we're in over there, or gear, what drive selection we're in, B, D, push it forward for neutral and push it forward again for reverse. So no P on this, so which is unused. First EV I've got with no P for park, so you just put it in neutral and then basically put the handbrake on. Things I like initially, I like the big screen, not played with that yet. Uh, I like the control nozzle for the heating, very simple. So you've got to just turn a fan for the speed of the fan, obviously that for the temperature. And direction of the airflow, you just twist for whatever direction you want it to be in. I like that. I like that a lot. So um, let's turn the fan off. Let's just have a quick walk around. So we'll leave the we'll leave the car running. Yeah, it's like a super mini, really, isn't it? Nice alloys. Got uh, parking sensors at the front. Um, 
yeah, day, uh, daytime running lights, the LEDs around the main headlights. Uh, we've still got this uh, quite unique door catch at the back for the Zoe. So I think the body shell is more or less the same. And we've got, obviously, the uh, in the boot. There we go. So these come with Type 2 cable. They don't come with a granny cable. So most EVs don't these days. But uh, yeah, it's this Europe's best-selling EV, the Renault Zoe. So there we go. That's now here on Orkney to demonstrate as part of the Reflex project.